Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Norwegian cruise experts, and today I'm so excited to reveal the incredible brand new Norwegian Viva. She's gonna be the sister ship of the Norwegian Prima, a bit of an evolution, but what we've seen with the Prima and the Viva is that Norwegian has gone a different direction than their competitors. While their competitors are seeing how many people they can put on a ship, Norwegian has pulled that back and is actually putting less passengers on the ship. This particular ship has the best passenger space ratio of any ship in its class. It has the most outdoor space of any ship, once again, in its class amongst all of its competitors. It has one of the best staffing ratios and some of the largest rooms and suites at sea. The whole concept behind the Viva is to focus on what Norwegian does best. They have an incredible suite and haven product. We'll talk about that in just a minute, but they've taken it to the next level on this incredible ship, moving the haven to the aft of the ship and adding some extra benefits there. In addition, they've revolutionized their product. Now they're gonna have a new version of the waterfront. This is gonna be Ocean Boulevard that basically doubles or triples down on that incredible concept. You're gonna have some unique dining options. You've got some of the classics like Los Lobos and Onda by Scarpetta. We haven't seen what the rest are gonna be, but what we have seen is the incredible Indulge Food Hall. It's in the back of the ship and it's gonna give you basically that food hall stall experience so the whole family can go in. Maybe somebody wants barbecue, somebody else wants noodles, and another wants Indian food. That's gonna be me, by the way. Every member of the family and every member of your travel group can find the perfect option for them. You have some of the fastest slides ever built on the ocean, some incredible water slides, virtual reality unlike anything else out there, and so many more components in addition to the amazing entertainment that they'll have on board. We haven't seen the headliner show yet, but looking back at what they have on some of the other ships with Jersey Boys, Six the Musical, Choir of Man, and so many more, I know that they're gonna put some incredible entertainment venues. They have all of those amazing bars, and of course, with the Norwegian Perks program, you can always get an included beverage package. Now we're gonna talk about this ship, everything that's been revealed to date. We'll go through that step-by-step step here in just a minute and follow along as we reveal the incredible Norwegian Viva. Now what I love about the design of the Viva is that Norwegian has really doubled down on the things that they're great at and they've listened to their customers when they've asked for more of something. So we'll start off with the space ratio. This has about 35% more space per passenger than any other major cruise ship in its class with its competitors. So when you put it up against that, you can really see a difference. Same thing with crew. They have a roughly two to one passenger to crew ratio, which is phenomenal in the industry. And it's significantly better than you're gonna find from Royal Caribbean, from Carnival, or any of their competitors, including several in the premium category as well. In addition, it has more outdoor space than any other major cruise ship that's been launched. And that is something that I'm really, really happy that Norwegian has doubled down on. Now we're gonna talk about this ship from the top down, but before we do, let's talk about where it's going to sail. So we see that the Prima is gonna debut in 2022 in Europe, specifically in the Baltic, and then head over to the US. Now the Viva is gonna do something similar. It's actually going to debut in the Mediterranean. So it's gonna home port in Rome, in Venice, in Barcelona, and Lisbon. So it looks like it's gonna do some mix and match cruises there. And then it's gonna cross the Atlantic. Now keep in mind that transatlantic, the suites will sell out instantly, but it's gonna head across to the US and it's gonna home port in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Now what I personally love about that is you get the most incredible itineraries from Puerto Rico because you start in the Southern Caribbean. Oftentimes you have four, five, or even six ports that you can visit on a sailing from Puerto Rico. So I really love that. And if you look at the design of the ship with all the incredible outdoor spaces, the infinity pools, the amazing decks and lounges, it's perfectly built for where it's gonna sail. Let's start at the very top of the ship with the incredible Viva Speedway. Now, Norwegian debuted go-karts on board the Norwegian Joy. It was a bit bigger on the Bliss, way bigger on the Encore as it was such a big hit. And here, once again, they've taken it to another level and you're gonna find 14 nail-biting turns over three stories on the Norwegian Viva. 
it is a fan favorite. You can imagine racing when you're in Europe, you're in the Caribbean, wherever it is you are. If you love go-kart racing, what better place to do it than on a cruise ship with this incredible track? You're gonna have an amazing views from here. They do have the podium because of course you're competing with your friends, but the whole idea behind it is to head out, get the best lap time and see what you can do on the incredible Viva Speed Track. Now, if you decide you don't wanna do the Speedway or maybe afterwards, you can stop by the Viva Speedway Bar. This is gonna be on deck 18, facing the aft portion of the ship. You can grab a drink, watch a little bit of racing, or maybe go to celebrate with your friends after. Now on deck 18, you're gonna find the bullseye. Now this is a darts game. Now it's something that we all love to do at pubs and bars around the world, play a game of darts. But here you can play a sophisticated game of darts. They have cameras and special computer software where as you participate and throw the darts, it's gonna automatically calculate and tabulate up your score. It's something a little bit different, high tech and brand new for Norwegian. Right next door to the bullseye, you're gonna find tea time. Now this is miniature golf, and miniature golf is a classic cruise ship experience. Once again, a totally supercharged version of it. It's gonna be fully interactive, it's Vegas style, so you can stand up at the top of the ship and scream out, Viva Las Vegas, as I know you all wanted to do since you heard the name, but essentially what this is, is a supercharged version of miniature golf. It's fully interactive, once again, it's digital, and there's some really cool prizes that you can win as you compete with your friends and family. Now let's talk a little bit about the aqua park and the main pool deck. Now like every cruise ship in the world, they have a main pool deck with the large pool there in the middle, but unlike other cruise ships, they have an incredible feature right next to it and that is the tidal wave slide. Now this is gonna be a classic two person tube slide. They have this on some of their other ships. Once again, this is an elevated version of it. And I love that they have that complimentary option. If you wanna go water sliding, what better place to do it than on top of a cruise ship? Now they also have a kid's aqua park. What I like is it's a little bit up and separated. So you're gonna have a lot of run through features. I know my daughter absolutely loved the aqua park on the Norwegian Joy and the Norwegian Encore when we sailed. And so this is a great way to take care of every single member of the family. I've always said this, if every single person on a ship has something specifically for them, things that keep them engaged and excited, and keep in mind this complements the Splash Academy and everything awesome that that kids club has to offer, but it's a great place for the kiddos to run around, have a great time, and cool off in the Caribbean or the Mediterranean sun. Also on the main pool deck, you're gonna find two infinity hot tubs so you can get those incredible views and a massive LED screen. I remember some amazing memories on the Norwegian Joy over Thanksgiving, watching some NFL football by the, by the pool, also watching some first run movies and different styles of entertainment. So at night, the pool deck does turn into a dynamic entertainment venue. They'll have pool parties, dances, and a lot of fun. So if you wanna cool off during the day, watch a movie, watch a sporting event, or just chill with the family, the Norwegian pool deck is a fantastic option. Next up is Vibe Beach Club. This has been a fan favorite for quite some time on Norwegian. It's a true adults only area. So if you're looking to join Vibe, you're gonna to wanna to pay for that pass early on on the cruise. As soon as you get on, those do go quick because everybody loves the idea of having a dedicated adult space. This particular one looks phenomenal. You're gonna have two infinity hot tubs. You're gonna have a waterfall feature, a dedicated bar, and lots and lots of fun to be had. But this is where you can get away from the little ones, have a great time, and be adults. Now let's head to the aft of the ship. Those of you who watched us a while know that that's my favorite place to be. So of course, when her Norwegian called me and asked where they should put the Haven, I said, stick it in the back of the ship. Now I'm just kidding here. They've listened to feedback for a long time and this is the perfect spot for the Haven. It's got all of your favorites. You've got that indoor and outdoor restaurant seating. It's highly, highly elevated where you're gonna have breakfast, lunch, and dinner with a unique menu you won't find anywhere else on the ship. And keep in mind, it's just for those Haven guests staying in the Haven suites. In addition to that, you're gonna have a phenomenal sun deck with an infinity pool looking out the back of the ship. It even has a sauna and a cold room up there, quite a bit of sun deck space, a nice large lounge with multiple bars. So if you wanna be spoiled, make sure you check out our video on the Haven and all the different Haven suites. You can head on board the Norwegian Viva with early expedited access, incredible access, features and upgrades throughout your stay, and a phenomenal, phenomenal, space that only you as a Haven guest can take advantage of. 
Next up, let's talk a bit about the Galaxy Pavilion. Now, this is a virtual reality haven in and of itself. Now, if you love VR, you're gonna absolutely have an incredible time. When they debuted the Galaxy Pavilion on the Norwegian Joy, they instantly knew that they had a hit. In fact, they loved it so much, they redesigned the Encore from the Bliss, and they added the Galaxy Pavilion to the Encore when it was launched. They doubled down there, they've done it once again here. You have 14 separate attractions with over 40 different experiences in the Galaxy Pavilion. I think the one I'm most excited about is the Top Golf Swing Suite, where you can go and you can play some simulated golf there. Maybe you wanna play Pebble Beach with your friends. That's the perfect thing for this. Now, in addition to that, you're gonna have two separate uh, escape rooms. You're also going to have some dynamic venues where you can soar all around the world to check out incredible venues and quite a bit more. But if you love virtual reality, you love gaming, you are going to absolutely love the incredible Galaxy Pavilion. Now, if driving a race car or experiencing the incredible virtual reality of the Galaxy Pavilion isn't quite enough to get your adrenaline going, I highly recommend that you check out the three amazing slides that they've put on the Norwegian Viva. So the first one is the Rush. This is a dual slide experience. All three slides actually take you from deck 18 all the way down to deck eight. That's 99 feet at a speed and acceleration that is pulls more Gs than a F1 race car. It's an incredible feat that they've accomplished here. So you've got the dueling slides, and then on the other side, you have the drop. This is gonna be on the port side, so you have three different options that you can choose from. Once again, maybe you just wanna head down to deck eight really quick, you can do that, or you can have the ride of a lifetime. So now that we've dropped down to deck eight, let's talk a little bit about Ocean Boulevard. Now the waterfront when it debuted on the Norwegian breakaway was truly revolutionary in the industry. The idea of having indoor and outdoor dining there, also the ability to have the bars outside, but so much space outside to enjoy everything that you love about cruising was a absolutely huge hit. What they've done here with the Ocean Boulevard is they've really doubled down on that. It's quite a bit bigger and they've added quite a few more features. Let's first talk about Infinity Beach. So Infinity Beach is an expanded pool area. So this does not exist on their other classes of ships. What you're gonna find is infinity pools located on either side of the ship. You're gonna have day beds surrounded by water. And you'll also have two incredible areas there where you can spread out on either side of the ship. So whether you wanna do the pool on the top deck or down here, you have a few more options to choose from. Now, something that I'm really, really looking forward to is the Indulge Food Hall. Now, dining has always been a central part of the Norwegian cruise experience. They debuted freestyle dining that so many have replicated since. They also debuted the idea of a ton of specialty restaurants for you to choose from. Now, what they've done here is they've combined both of those. So instead of having just a traditional style buffet, what you're gonna have is a true food hall experience. So depending on what you wanna eat, maybe you wanna mix and match different cuisines, maybe every member of the family wants something different, you're sure to find a perfect choice for you. Now there's gonna be 11 separate stations. You have a mix of self-service, order and delivery, and full service items. So you've got Coco's. This is the sweet shop. Whether you want a milkshake or any of those delectable baked goods, you can find it there along with an amazing chocolate experience at Coco's. You also have the Starbucks kiosk. They've expanded that relationship with Starbucks coffee and you will find Starbucks on every single Norwegian ship going forward. Now, in addition to that, you're gonna have just desserts. That's probably where I'm gonna move in or just ice cream. I guess I could live there too, but you're also gonna have several different food stalls. So you've got seaside rotisserie. We can have all kinds of different rotisserie meat options. You have noodles, which is an Asian style eatery. You have Tamara, which is going to be an Indian style eatery. Now Norwegian always does an amazing job with Indian food. You're probably gonna find me here each and every single day. They have the garden, which is an expansion of kind of a farm to table style menu where you have a little bit of California style farm cuisine. So we'll see what that menu looks like. You've got the Latin Quarter, which is a food truck. You also have a tapas truck in addition. Now for service style, they're gonna have breakfast. So you have eggs, pastries, pancakes, breakfast meats, fruit, yogurt. Um, it will also be waiter style service. You're also gonna be able to dine there for lunch and dinner. This will be open with uh, self-serve. You can do the iPad ordering like you're gonna find in Food Republic on the other ships. And they also have waiter service. Lots and lots of different options. 
And I, what I love about it is they're gonna have some complimentary options and then also some premium options as well. The idea is you can have whatever whim that you want for food and you're gonna find it here and absolutely enjoy it. Now let's continue our walk around Ocean Boulevard. Next up is the Ocean Walk itself. You're gonna have an incredible glass bridge that you can walk over. It wraps around the exterior with glass walls and it's a really incredible Instagram spot. It's that photo opportunity, whether you wanna just snap a quick selfie or you wanna have professional portraits done. It's one of those spots that I think you're gonna really, really enjoy. You also have the concourse. So this is an outdoor sculpture garden. They haven't announced yet who the artist will be that will provide these sculptures, but it's this unique opportunity to kind of wander around and really experience art while at sea. You're also gonna have La Terraza, which goes all the way around Ocean Boulevard. What it is, is it's small secluded seating areas. So you can grab a drink, head on over there with a friend, sit, relax. I know my wife will probably pull up her quilting materials and do a little bit of sewing out there, but it's a great place to read a book. Like I said, have a drink or relax with friends. Now, in addition to all of that, you're gonna have the most outdoor space they've ever put on a cruise ship, and even more than they're gonna have on any of their competitor ships. So if you picture what you saw previously on the ocean, on the waterfront, you're gonna double, triple that down, a lot more to do, a lot more venues that you can take advantage of, and it's important to note that they haven't announced everything yet. There's still details yet to announce. Now the other two that I wanted to talk about really quick are the two specialty restaurants that they have announced so far. The first one is Los Lobos. In addition to being beautifully colorful, it's a phenomenal expansive Mexican meal. You're gonna start off with some fantastic appetizers. I love the Nopales salad that they had on board the Encore and work your way with diff through different styles of Mexican cuisine. Another one of those phenomenal options is gonna be Onda by Scarpetta. So the first one debuted on the Norwegian Encore, second one on the Norwegian Spirit, and now we're up with the third. I can't wait to taste this incredible Italian meal. Now it's not just your run of the mill Italian. I love any kind of Italian food. You have incredibly elevated. It's a brand name that you know on land. They always deliver. And my experience is Norwegian delivers with it on the sea as well. Now my last cruise on the Norwegian Encore, I completely fell in love with the local. I love the idea and I wish every single cruise ship had that. The local is a complimentary pub style dining experience that you can take advantage of on the Norwegian Viva. Basically, it's open 24 hours a day. They do breakfast, lunch, dinner, and wait for it, the most important part, chicken wings. I have had my weight in chicken wings, maybe yours as well, over the years at the local and Oceans, the different bars and pubs that, that they've put on board their ships. But what's different about this particular one, you have the amazing restaurant, you've got the bar, tavern that's attached to it. You now have outdoor dining as well. They've expanded that out onto the larger Ocean Boulevard, and I really, really appreciate that. Now on deck seven, you're gonna find three very important venues. The first one, is Sid Norman's Poor House. And the reason it's important is they have a ton of beers on tap and I love beer. So if you wanna have some great music, some great brews, Sid Norman's is the perfect place for you. Now directly across, you're gonna find the Improv at Sea. Now they've always done a great job with comedy and I love the idea that they're gonna have comedy in the main theater, they'll have comedy in the venue, as well as an incredible improv experience. That interactive experience really in my mind takes it to another level. Now at the very front, you're also gonna find the Viva Theater. We don't have that many details on that yet, but what I like about it is that it's the theater and club bar. So it looks like they might have combined some kind of club venue, theater and bar. Don't know quite yet, but I know if any of the other ships have anything to do with this, they're gonna have world-class entertainment on board. Now one thing that we do know is that they've brought back the studio lounge and the studio rooms. I love the idea that they're catering specifically to the solo traveler market. It's something that uh, not all cruise lines do and Norwegian does it better than anyone else because in addition to great sized rooms that you don't pay double the cost for, you also have a fantastic social experience as well and that's a key card access area. Now, if you wanna check out the studio, if you wanna check out all the different rooms, suites, and the Haven Suites, we have three separate videos that you can access down below on, on our channel, where you can check out a deep dive into the Haven rooms and suites, the suites on board that are not Haven class or the standard, and then of course, all the club class balconies and all of the entry level rooms on the ship. 
Now I mentioned the kiddos early on with that amazing splash pad and all the other activities, but of course they're gonna have a full Splash Academy Kids Club experience. That's gonna be segmented up into the different age groups. We only have a couple images right now. I can't wait for the rest of the reveal, but I love the idea that they're gonna have the lab. This is a new concept where you have art and science where they can kind of mix and match and choose their own activity. Of course, you're also gonna have all the classic Splash Academy activities as well, in addition to the water slides, the Galaxy Pavilion, the pool, and of course, the incredible destinations that you'll visit around the world. They're sure to take care of every single member of the family. So whether you're an adult at Vibe, whether you're a multi-generational group enjoying the Haven, or you just wanna have a great time on a water slide, there's something for everyone. Now, whatever type of vacation you're looking for, it's sure to be found on the Norwegian Viva. They've really looked at their competitors. They've looked at what they do well, and they've combined that to create an incredibly unique experience. They have a lot less passengers for the same amount of space as you're gonna find on their direct competitors, even some of their older ships. You're gonna find an incredible premium experience. In fact, I think they're the first in the industry that have really brought together high-end luxury and an incredible premium experience, but also with a great entry-level experience as well. Now, when you're ready to book your next Haven suite, suite or room on board the incredible Norwegian Viva, the Prima, or any ship in Norwegian's fleet, make sure you reach out to Hard Travel. We are your Norwegian Cruise Line experts. We know the spaces inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with the cruise line, and we know that we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value, and get the Hard Travel signature service every step of the way. Now keep in mind, they've only revealed some of the things that they're gonna have on board, so we'll come back to you soon with the grand reveal with all the rest of the features.